Hi, this is Dr. Trincatella. A lot of the female patients that I see have autoimmune disorders, and it's, it's difficult to assess exactly why somebody develops an autoimmune disorder. I think it's an interplay between environmental factors, genetics, and lifestyle and diet. So in order for us to get in there and unravel some of the, the potential causes or triggers for an autoimmune disorder, one of the first things that I do is assess, assess gut function and look for the presence of infections and potentially leaky gut. Uh, and leaky gut can come about for a number of reasons. It can be due to chronic infections, can be due to gluten sensitivity, uh, food allergies, things that people are consuming that their immune system does not like and it creates an inflammatory process at that mucosal barrier within the GI tract, and it results in a more permeable gut. And what can happen under those circumstances is that if you have a more permeable gut, you have larger proteins and molecules that are entering your general circulation and can potentially trigger a more systemic immune response. And for those who do develop an autoimmune disorder, they may be genetically predisposed and when their immune system encounters those proteins or molecules that have been absorbed, uh, their genetics will determine what type of autoimmune condition they may develop. So some people develop uh, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, some people develop ankylosing spondylitis. But the source can be the same, and that can be something that we have encountered in our environment, whether it be a pathogen, a parasite, a virus, or a food allergen, or gluten could be the potential trigger. So we have to get in there and we have to look for certain infections and we have to assess gut function and clean up the gut and reduce uh, intestinal permeability if we want to reduce that systemic inflammatory reaction. So that's the best way to start assessing for autoimmune conditions. So uh, look at the gut. It's always a great place to start. This is Dr. Trancatella. Thank you.